Hi, everybody. Today we're going to do some prime rib. So, I'll see you in the kitchen. Please stand by. So to start, I have two rough chopped onions and two bulbs of garlic in my roasting pan. And I'm just going to drizzle that with a little bit of olive oil. All right, so let's move this pan out of the way. I'm going to grab my mixing bowl here. And I have one stick of softened butter in there already. I'm going to add to that um, one tablespoon of smoked paprika. Then one teaspoon of crushed rosemary. And one teaspoon of basil. I'm also gonna add in two teaspoons of um, minced garlic. And I'll finish this off with roughly two tablespoons of ground uh, coarse ground pepper and two tablespoons of sea salt. I'm going to mix this all together and then this will be um, put right on top of that roast. There you go. So layer that on the roast. That's your seasoning for it. Then right in the oven at 500 degrees at five minutes per pound. Now my roast is 5.18 pounds, and you always want to round up. So that roast will be in the oven for about 30 minutes at 500 degrees. And then I'll just turn the oven off, keeping the door shut, not even checking the uh, roast for the next two hours. After two hours, that temperature should be right around 120 degrees. And then it's safe to take it out of the oven. All right, it's been two hours, and we are just shy of 120 degrees. So. I'll go ahead and leave it in the oven for about 20 more minutes, and then I'll check back. Okay, it's been 20 more minutes, and we are at 120 degrees, which is perfect. Let me go ahead and take this out of the oven and remove that meat thermometer. Oh, look how pretty that is. It smells incredible in here. Let me slide this over just a little bit. I'm going to take out the... Um, actually, I'm going to leave that thermometer in. So I want to watch this rise up to 125. We're still cooking. So I'm going to go ahead and tint this with some aluminum foil and then place a towel over it. And then I'll walk away for about 20 more minutes just to make sure that temperature continues to um, rise while this piece of meat is resting. Okay, the temperature hit 125, so I went ahead and took out the thermometer, took off the tent and the towel, of course. Now I'm going to cut the twine and then trim the rib away from the roast, and then we'll slice it all up. Okay, so off camera, I did just cut the uh, rib away from the main piece of the roast. And let's go ahead and get this ready for carving. Oh yeah, nice and juicy. Uh, but it's cooked all the way through. Well, it's cooked to a nice medium rare anyways. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh my. Once again, I wish we had smell-o-vision because it just smells incredible. And let me just slice this up real quick. 
This is truly a thing of beauty. Now let's take those pan drippings along with the roasted onions and garlic and just to pour those into a medium saute pan over medium heat. And I do want to mash out all the flavor out of those vegetables and pour in any juices that may have come off of the uh, beef as I was slicing it up. Then I'm going to add a quarter cup of red wine, turn up the heat, and let this reduce down to a nice au jus sauce. So my sauce is reduced in volume by just about half, so it should be just about finished now, and that alcohol should be cooked off. Let me go ahead and strain this real quick into a bowl, and then we're going to plate up our meal. Wow! So what we have here is the prime rib, as well as some cream cheese garlic mashed potatoes with bacon and cheddar cheese. Um, a dinner salad, and my family's version of Cattleman's dressing. So I can't wait to dive into this. This is my Christmas dinner. What, y'all are still here? Video's over. Go, go, go cook. Oh, you want to know about the uh, mashed potatoes and the um, dressing on the salad? All right. Tune in next week for some more videos. Right now, go with your family. Let me eat. Have a great day, everybody.